In the last video, we discussed that communication is the transmission, storage, and preservation of information, ideas, and thoughts. We looked at attributes of communication like time, space, or distance, one is to one and one is to many communication, and accuracy versus efficiency of information, where we discussed the idea of disambiguation, that is, dissemination of information without misinterpretation. Let's now look at evolution of communication. First main development in the evolution of communication is language, that is, use of sound for communication. Animals and birds also use sound to communicate. You might have seen a flock of birds chirping loudly when they see a cat. The chirping becomes shrill to convey danger. However, birds cannot convey very complex ideas like, there is a cat, go 100 meters to the right and hide in the tree there. Around 70,000 years ago, we humans developed the ability to make very complex sounds. This led to the advent of language. By using very complex sounds, we could convey very complex ideas like, there is a predator coming, 200 meters to the right are large stones, hide behind these stones and I will come there after the predator has left. Language made possible the communication of very abstract ideas like freedom, democracy, or emotions like love and hate. We could also convey to other people what we were imagining, say a fictional story. Second main development in the evolution of communication is writing. Writing is encoding sounds into signs and symbols so that language can be read. Pictograms were the first form of writing. Pictograms are symbols that are used to depict information or an idea. Around 4 BC, Sumerians used cuneiform, wedge-shaped marks on clay to record trade-related transactions. Egyptian hieroglyphs are another example of pictograms. For example, the symbol of I represents Horus, and that in turn depicts ideas of power, royal protection, and good health. The English alphabet A, B, C, D are symbols for sounds A, B, K, D, and these are combined to form words. Words are then combined to form sentences, and we can use a string of sentences to communicate information, abstract ideas, and imaginary thoughts. Writing, first on bark of a tree and much later on paper, helped dissemination, storage, and preservation of information. Writing can go across space and be preserved across time, though with some difficulty. For example, not many manuscripts from earlier times have survived. The next big step in evolution of communication was the invention of the printing press. Pamphlets, flyers, and later books could be used to disseminate information and ideas across space and could also be stored and preserved across time with great accuracy. Printing press also allowed one is to many dissemination of information. However, printed material is linear or sequential and it does not capture the gestures, expressions, body language of the speaker which in face-to-face -face communication involve all the senses of the audience, thus making communication interesting and engaging. Of course, a good writer can use words to paint a picture, and images and photos can also be put in books, but the medium has its limitations. Electricity led to the invention of telegraph. Information coded into Morse code, dots and dashes, could be relayed across long distance using electricity wires. Telegraph allows instant dissemination of information across space, but not across time. Also, only very short messages can be communicated. Invention of radio and telephone are other important milestones in the evolution of communication. They both are audio only and telephone is one is to one, while radio can be broadcast one to millions. In audio transmission, to ensure disambiguation, that is, no confusion, you would have seen in war films, they use words like Victor, Bravo, to convey the letters V and B without any confusion, or the words Charlie, Delta, Lima, to convey C, D, and L. This is another example of adding more to the information that needs to be communicated, which makes it slightly inefficient, but ensures accuracy. Invention of television allowed instant communication of audio and video over large distances to very large audience. Storage and preservation of information through archiving is also possible. In the evolution of communication, internet is our next stage. Internet allows instant communication over long distance, one-to-one -one communication like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, one-to-million broadcast like a YouTube video. Information can be stored and preserved in archive with great accuracy. Information can also be replicated millions of times without any loss or ambiguity. And to make communication really interesting and engaging, multiple mediums like text, images, audio, video, animation, and now augmented reality 
which is the mix of reality and imagination, and virtual reality, which is the creation of a totally alternate digital reality, are also possible. It is interesting to note that to reach 50 million people, it took the telephone 75 years, radio 38 years, television 13 years, World Wide Web 4 years, and the game Angry Birds 35 days. With this understanding of fundamental attributes of communication, in the next video, we will look at how, when we design our website, we must bear these attributes in mind.